Hello everyone, welcome back to Kotor with me! So, a whole host of comments, uh, last video about what I should do and general hints and tips, which was fantastic. Seems I'm not screwing up too much, which is good news. Uh, and vast, 100% of people basically said uh, that I should go this way and talk to my crewmates, post it this way and continue the quest, that's what I'll do. I got another um, thing about taking Bayadoa and going to this... Uh, Workbench over here so I can craft things with him rather than with my character because he's better at it. But uh, currently, I've just tried, I cannot add him to my party because we have to go to this party alone. Uh, also, got to go and see Lutra about the loot uh, for that quest, and that's about it, more or less. A few things here and there that I've taken, cons you know, under due consideration. But yeah, we're gonna head back here. So, we're gonna have a, a long chat, I imagine, unless it won't let me on here. Ah! <laughs> Well, there we go then. That is uh, that is that then, isn't it? We're gonna. <laughs> Sadly, I am not able to uh, do what you guys suggested, so me asking was completely pointless. <laughs> but thanks for the thanks for the thought. Anyway, thank you for the thought. Okay. Um, so I know full well that that Lutra is in the docks, which I think are over on this side. There you go. You see. So we can at least do that, right, game? But we're off. Do have a oh wait a minute something's happening ah hello hey look I wanted to tell you be careful no. I won't be able to contact you via the com link if something happens and I'm betting that squidhead knows it that's good of him there was something else I was going to say it's going straight on my head because that guy ran up to me oh somebody else commented that uh, my character would be more do more damage and stuff with being unarmed. Um, and that may well be the case, but I've thought about this and I've decided that my character is going to use a sword anyway um, because they, my character just feels safer. I know it doesn't make any sense um, in terms of gameplay thing, it's purely a role playing thing that I'm going to keep the sword on even though it's not as good as my fists because uh, I just think she likes the um, feel of a weapon in her hands in a, in a battle. I just think it's, it's more of a, a mental crutch if you like. So it's a character fault, I suppose, because she is better with her fists and if she's forced to use them, I mean, she may, you know, she'd be quite surprised. But for right now, she's maybe has these hidden insecurities and one of them is the fact that she likes to use a weapon in a fight, which I'm sure a lot of us can agree with, right? Uh, now I know some people say, well, you know, if you can use, if no one who knows Kung Fu is going to use it, you know, who's not going to use Kung Fu, and I suppose that's entirely true, but nevertheless, it's a little character trait that I have decided to uh, put in there. Uh, anyway, yeah, Atten's been on nice and stuff. Like, you didn't follow me all, all the way out here just to warn me of that. See, that is uh, some awareness right there, I'm going to say it. Look, take these. They're healing packs. If your suit gets breached, you'll need to inject them fast if you don't want your lungs to seize up. Suit? And trust me, once the seizures start, you'll be dead. Ah, oh, well, thanks. No, just relax. I can handle this. That, that makes more sense. All right, whatever. Don't say I didn't try to warn you. Me, I've got better things to do. Oh, nice. There's also the fact that she's not wearing this mask, which I was sort of hoping to do, but since I can't access my whole journal, that doesn't seem to be something that is possible, which is a shame. Uh, because yes, it could be quite useful to be immune to. What suit? Did I pick up something? There's any heavy armor there, but that's not really. Immunity to stun, fear, and horror. Aha, uh -huh, nice. This is. I can't count this as a bloody armor, but there we go. Hmm. So, so you're the big Jedi that everyone's oh, been hi. talking about. You don't look so tough to me. I thought you Jedi were supposed to be smart, and here you are running around Nar Shaddaa, sticking your lightsaber into everyone's business. What, were you planning to save everyone on this moon? You're attracting more attention than a fleet of Sith warships. That's kind of the idea. I don't have a lightsaber. <laughs> I'm shoot out of time for this. <laughs> I was thinking that. I'm pretty sure this character who I'm speaking to is an NPC, and I certainly hope so, because honestly, I kind of like her. I've never had a conversation with her until now, but just from what I know about her, she seems pretty cool, and I, I, I do want her to, to join me. i got to say, this is a player. I don't know whether my character feels that way. Um, 
Yeah, I, look, I'm, I'm, I'm doing something else, so yeah. Yeah, well, maybe you'll have time for this. I'm here to warn you. Look, I know that squid head Visquis sent you a message to meet him in the Jack Jack Tar. He works for Godo, and it's a trap. I'm betting he's gonna lure you in there, start a fight, and then he's gonna wrap you up and deliver you to Goto. Dead, claiming you attacked him. Um got anything else obvious to say? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm just gonna say I know it's a trap. Just this. I know you're meeting with Visquis. If I know about it, that means everybody else on this moon knows about it, or will soon enough. And when that happens, the bounty hunter truce is off. That means things are gonna get real ugly real quick. Yeah. But I have been a target ever since I entered since I started the game essentially. I think your friends are the ones in trouble. Oh. Oh yeah. Not the ship again. Well, this sure beats staying on the ship. A few oh. drinks to keep me on my toes, a few games of Pazak to keep the mind alert. Should be enough to keep me out of trouble until our fearless leader straightens things out. Huh. Could be worse. Give me a hit of Juma and keep them coming. Well, looks like staying on the ship was a bad idea after all. That's what I love about Nar Shada, the company. So, I don't think I caught your names. Uh, you two work here? Manan Sakapuna Wasiro Toke. Longest four words ever. Yeah? What happened to your master? No, actually, I'm here protecting someone, keeping them out of trouble, by acting as a distraction for people looking to harm her. Why don't you two shut us try it and we'll see what happens? Jun sobe me rapa, no kuma randisa makchiksa, kucha bak tong kinka mata kata, chopa wanga kun napka yutka kes, wamba wamba siso misun kum raka wakta, nushka wana sochi rona bang mamba kan. Oh, Atten. Uh, yeah. We got any other things we can give him at this point? Can't use the battle armor and stuff, right? So is this gives a defense bonus of four and saves five, but no saves, but fire. And this one, I'm just gonna get changed, ladies. Don't worry about me. Persuade and charisma, which isn't going to help her too, too much in this situation. Um. The weapons. Let's see what weapons. Let's just stun, which is kind of nice. That's a melee weapon and stuff. I wish you could, like, sort weapons by type. Melee weapon, melee weapon, blaster pistol. Um, Just as iron damage, not going to do much good. And then rifle and cleavers and forceaxes. So he's, he's kind of got everything he can have. Um, Fitness package. Strength. Uh, that gives strength. Okay, so that's the best thing you can have. We're going to be using these. Now, they use... Uh, they're using swords, so I'm guessing the melee shield, which is slashing damage, could be pretty nice. Uh, for 50 points, doesn't sound like it's going to last very long. What else have we got here? Another melee sh okay. Energy shield, and energy shield. Someone gave me a, a very nice roundup of all the shields as well, which is pretty sweet. I mean, this is probably the best thing you can have on him. So we've got two of them. Uh, we've also got... Stealth field. We can kind of cheat with this, can't we? And have some more stealth. How about reflex? Um, uh, we've also given him a cleaver accidentally. Um, let's get the uh, 
Yeah, no worries. Where's that uh, stunning thing? Okay. He might need that cleaver later. Uh, you look at. I didn't mean to equip all this stuff that I've just given you, man. <laughs> put put, uh, put that back on. You're gonna die. At least die. Don't die wearing a dress. And I don't want that either. Um. Oh, what is he doing? I've been pressing the wrong button. Um. All right. Let's just. I kind of want that, but I kind of want this to be. Oh, he's using. All right, hang on, wait, 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 wait. wait. God, this is horrible for you people. I know. Um, I want to get rid of this one. Anything there, right? Right. I want that. Yes. And then I want something like, uh, like, like that. Okay. Right. There we go. So, uh, but. I haven't said that, we're just going to use... Um, yeah, boys, good day. There we go. And same for you. Oh. Ow. Alright, that was a bad idea. So he's shooting and stuff. Um, uh, yeah, this, this uh, is what I need. Quickly. Right, he's almost dead already. But I can't always go in here and heal. I don't know whether you're supposed to lose this fight. This could be one of those these fights where you're scripted to lose and I've just wasted a lot of consumables on, on a pointless thing. I realize that. However, uh, wow, that did absolutely nothing. It may well be that I'm destined to lose this one. Excuse the I an advanced one for that very reason, though. That is absolutely nothing! God, he's, yeah, he's lost his shield. Let's just... No, you do have to... You do have to beat them. Uh, okay, so I've got to do what... Ah, it sucks! I'm saying it. This is the whole uh, load of... Um, Conversations and then a tough fight thing, and without any auto saves and such. Yeah, that sucks. That sucks, game. I do. It, now, it could be part of the restore content mod, in which case the game designers are not a fault and the, the sort of modders are. And you can always say, well, you know, they're modders. They're, huh? um. Look, and. They can be excused, and there is some merit in that. At the same time, it still sucks. <laughs> Are me. See, and now I, I so I can't save there. I can save here. So you're the you big Jedi that everyone's been yes. talking about. I think. I'm no, Mira. God damn it. I'm the best bounty hunter in this system, and that's not me bragging. That's fact. I had you in my sights ever since you landed. I've been watching you run all over the refugee sector like a bantha, and for someone with a price on their head as high as yours. You sure don't know how to keep a low profile. Look, no. I know that squid head Visquis sent you a message to meet him in the Jek Jek Tar. He works for Godo, and it's a trap. I'm betting he's gonna lure you in there, start a fight, and then he's gonna wrap you up and deliver you- So I knew that. Just this. If I- and when... I think your friends are the ones in trouble. No, save, save, no, save, save, save! Not allowed, not allowed, not allowed, not allowed. So I've got to do that conversation about 16 well, times, and then this one, and, and, and then all this, this... Oh, come on. Come. Okay, I can save it there. Marvelous. Oh, no. Oh, all right, run away! Run away! This, this could actually be something we can do, isn't it? Yeah, this is actually a positive, possible thing. Hang on a minute. Did I just break this fight because, you know, I have, haven't I? So, it's like I moved. Oh, he's gone behind a table. What on earth do we do now? They've got some, like, reflecting thing going on. But, what on earth game? This has got to be part of the original. Tell me this isn't part of the original game, you know, because, I mean, I was kind of worried about this. I was kind of thinking, that came from? Kind of thinking, well, you know, this is going to suck. I'm going to have to reload this over from? and over and over again. But I'm just going to stand behind this table and Time everything's going to be fine. Odds. You have been outwitted. Now, this is doing absolutely nothing. 
I know I did all that with the point unit, I can do such a thing again, but how are you supposed to win this then? I mean, if you don't have poison grenades and other grenades and such, because you he's useless in close combat, that's not his thing, but, you know, he's the guy with the... Time to even the odds. So I'm missing. Oh, you're supposed to maybe sneak Let's away. This. Are you supposed to sneak away? More where that came from. That could be the case. Maybe I'm doing this wrong. Time to take you down to size. I mean, I can just took grenades at you, I guess. <laughs> Worst bounty hunters ever. Did that do anything? In terms of damage? Obviously, it stuck them in place, which now makes sense that they stood there. Like ninnies. Oh, I just thought that a couple more times. That, that had effect. Oh, what?! Maybe you're not supposed to kill them. Alright, hang on. Am I supposed to run away? Oh, it's locked. Uh, what the hell? What are you supposed to... This is so awkward. Oh, now they're, now they're after me. Now they're after me. Which, of course, isn't good myself, you know. Screwed up my position. But you can tell why I thought there would be something else going on there, yeah? Right, okay. Because I, I can't kill these people. She's almost dead, but I, she's immune to blast of fire. I know she's got this kind of shield up. Came from. Not entirely sure if it's uh, having effect, but they they are getting reflected as well. I, I don't think shields do that; they just observe the damage. Absorb. You know, I was really I was really looking forward to this episode. I was I was thinking thinking either. More where that came from. You know, we we're gonna have a really good sort of like uh, conversation with our crewmates, and then that couldn't happen. So I thought, well, you know, okay, fine, we'll continue the main quest, which we are. But then this, this. I'm gonna be out her there. Maybe I'm far enough away that she's not deflecting. This is awful. Gotta say. Now maybe I've done this entirely wrong. I missed something or whatever. I don't know what though. This is just is what it is, isn't it? You know, and you know she's she's too far away to uh, to block this now. So what I'm gonna do is be really cheeky though, really really cheeky, and uh, wait until she's almost dead and then see if I can lose something from the other one. Yeah, I want the remains. I want the. I'm not allowed to get them. I'm not allowed. Oh god, I'm not allowed. Oh, that doesn't matter. Where that came from? Kill her. There we go. Well, that's it. The bounty hunter truce is off. That means this place is going to get real bad, real fast. I better get back to the ship. Warn the others. Yeah, well done, Atten, though. Well done, Stella. Hey, we need to move out. Something happened. The truce between the bounty hunters in Narshada is off. There's going to be a war. A trap in the Jek Jek Tar is bad enough, but having a hundred bounty hunters on your back is something else. She was told to meet alone. We cannot disrupt their meeting until the alien reveals the information he has. Look, we need to move. They're coming after us, not the Exile. I'm not leaving the General behind. We either leave here together or not at all. Forget her. She can handle herself. I'm more worried about us. We're not going to leave her here. We stand with the General or not at all. Look at Kamara and Dosso ran we no chabi. Do ran tamana sobu. Donos emeregith. Wana rakorachi drum kasa in chobin sasha. Dosimana rachata. The ranamo sibu and dasarans. Krema sunkum ratungala. Chawi mo jubu in kosoracha. Do mababe want to susi to mukarata. To aspect to natada be mabar chokto. Anybody here catch that? All I understood was very. I think he wanted us to give up the general to his poorly trained collection of bounty hunters. Ah, well, that would explain it. Which one do you want? I'll take the stupid one, who decided to threaten us rather than shoot us when he had the chance. Huh. Okay, I can save it there. 
I can just get that little that save in. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is one of my safe houses. It's it's not too pretty to look at, but keeps away prying eyes. Has it some distinctive smell? Yeah, well, it's one of those trade-offs. All the freighter exhaust from the docks, you know. Some aliens actually like breathing it, if you can believe it. All right, get to the point. You know, Visquis is arranging a trap for you in the Jack Tar. No surprise there. No. Thing is, he intends to cut the bounty hunters out of the loop and deliver you to Goto personally. Hm. Not smart from where I'm standing. Uh, still need to meet with Goto. Although bounty hunter ethics don't really concern me, what are you going to do about it? These are all uh, relevant. An ex Jedi with a death wish doesn't concern me. Unless credits are involved. That's why you're going to stay here until I meet with Visquis. Um, right. How do you figure that? Well, that smell you noticed when you came in? It's probably filtering through your lungs right now. I upped the dosage in case you had some Jedi training to resist poisons. Anybody without olfactory blockers, like I have, is going to start feeling dizzy and eventually fall unconscious. Oh, I know. Let me just take that environment suit, and I'll be back soon. Okay, so they've got an environment suit. That's what I probably missed. <laughs> or maybe it would, would equip automatically, you know, I don't know. Oh, that! Very flattering. <laughs> Yeah, chill, man. Ah, here we are being this character. Mira, a scout, level 6, for now. <clears throat> I think we have a long way to go. I guess we're going to level her up. So, obviously, high dexterity, high intelligence, as you might expect. High reflex save. Um, so, it looks like she is part of our crew, really, with all the this stuff. Yeah, she's sort of integrated already, isn't she? We need to equip her with things, I imagine. She obviously took all this off Ayana when she was falling asleep. And somebody who outweighed Ayana like that, don't know how Ayana is going to react to it. Because it's the first time it's happened in the game that she's kind of been made a fool of, if you like. So we'll have to see. Okay, we're using the... Alright, that's handy, isn't it? Okay. We do have to level up quite a lot, so let's go ahead and do that. So there we are, lovely. Uh, so skills, let's see what we got. Computer use, demolitions, awareness, prepare. So she's good at everything that we like, apart from stealth, which is cool, because we don't really like stealth anyway. Um, no, 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 no. Tree injury, not so good. And not security either, gotta remember that. She's not very good at computers. Okay, uncanny dodge. Um, is that this? No, where, where the hell is that? Where, where the hell is this uncanny dodge? Where is it? I don't see it. I don't see it anyway. I don't see it anyway. So obviously light armor, uh, caution, demolitions and stealth. She can do a critical strike. What else have we got on this character so far? Rapid shot type thing, sniper shot, basic kind of things. She can basically use weapons. There we are. The character with uncanny dodge retains the dexterity bonus to defense even when... Surprised by camouflaged opponents. All games plus two on saves versus grenades. Plus four versus grenades. Hmm. Alright then. So she's good against grenades, I guess. Dueling, evasion. Sometimes make saving throws in order to take half damage. Some powers and abilities. Good to know. Targeting. Have one scouts receive a plus one attacked with ranged weapons. So another ranged weapon sort of character, which doesn't surprise me. And then we have close combat, so she can use her blaster in close combat. Let's see what else have we got here? See, I can put security in there and get her to be good at that, which is kind of tempting, honestly. Um, and then we've got another skill-based character, so I don't have to have her and say ba ba do. I could have one or the other. Um, but she does seem to be geared towards more combat role as opposed to, you know, with, with a few skills mixed in. 
but it would be really handy because I'm thinking her as a thief. That is what I'm thinking. She's a thief, and thieves can do locks again. Back to fantasy RPGs, but that is my bread and butter. So I'm gonna have this. I know some people might question that. They not likely will. But uh, okay, precise shot to some uh, abilities here. So dexterity really. Hmm. Dexterity is quite handy, but um. I'm going to go with intelligence so I can get more skills. Again, I'm putting this character a slightly different way. And now I can bump the uh, security up to quite quite a reasonable level. Try and have it catch up. Yeah, we'll We've got plenty of... Uh... Plenty of levels to play with. Okay, another feat. So targeting three. So more plus one attack bonus with range weapons plus, uh, yeah, plus three, plus three with range weapons. So improved dueling probably not the best idea. Just depends whether I want her with blaster pistols or rifles. I mean, I'm kind of going with pistols, being like a, a dual wielding sort of character. But does she have the dual wielding thing? Dual strike. Ah, this is the uh, against another enemy, which again is kind of neat because uh, when Kriya. Or, or, or a, a melee sort of characters in, in, in the party, she'll get a bonus straight away because I tend to try and do the same uh, character. Okay, ranged weapons by two. Yeah, so she's really good at ranged weapons. An improved close combat. When the character's target is in short range, they receive a plus two attack bonus. Additionally, when these characters are engaged in melee combat, their attackers receive a plus two attack bonus instead of the usual plus six. Yes, yeah, so it's. it's um, Harder to hit people who are shooting at you in the face type thing. Um, I know what I mean. So I don't think empathy really suits the character and flurry and such like that and gear head again could these could be kinda useful, but um one of these would probably be uh, preferable. The where's the thing? Uh, and again I'm probably going to annoy people by not seeing it. Um, ability increased there is plus 10 faster than normal it doesn't matter too much uh, that lets you wield two weapons at once then again this dueling thing if she has only one uh, blaster pistol this dueling thing again more plus one to attack and plus one defense due to the proficiency of this form of combat bust and this applies to ranged weapons so if she has just the one pistol, then she becomes like a second Atten though, doesn't she? But making them quite similar, but might not be a bad thing. And again, I could have medium armor. Hmm. Oh, I don't know. I don't know how I want to build this 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 uh, mirror. Well, I can't see the thing of dual wielding blasters. But, uh, yeah, let's take that. Because maybe it'll, it'll appear in, in the powers thing, though. She shouldn't really get powers, does she? So, again, kind of iffy. Nah, I'm not too keen on demolitions for now. We'll just, uh, all this sort of stuff. In fact, maybe not repair, because I know Ayanna can do that, so we won't really bother with repairs that much anymore. So awareness, computer use, and, and security, as you might expect, is, is what we're going to do with this character. And feats. Two-weapon fighting. There it is, Jesus Christ. And I can get that one. So, dual weapon fighting. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to. I'm still going to do that. I'm going to have her have two, two pistols. I think that suits this character quite a lot. Level up. Precise shot two. That's nice. And we get more... Intelligence, that's what I'll do, and more dexterity. Oh no, looking at the wrong thing there. Thought two would be kind of generous. That, that, that. No, um. Now nah, we can shove something in repair. Can't do any harm. No, we'll leave him for next level. That's what we do. We'll leave him for next level. So, yeah, more skills. She's got plenty of skills now. 
I'm not going to use his ammo, so I might as well shove him into... Well, actually, yeah. Shove it into this, because um, she'll use med attack packs eventually, and they'll be more useful than repair. Since Diana has that. Targeting. Okay, more targeting. More targeting. Okay, ranged weapons, uh, very good at, we can say. Alright, let's get the improved thing with this. Two weapons on each hand, the feature reduces the attack penalty to 2-2, two, two, and then this will reduce it to less, basically. Use of balanced weapon on the off hand can further reduce the attack between 2, 2, and 0, and 0 minus 2. Okay, so we'll take that one, and accept it, and there we go. So we got a, a dual, not that I can equip anything, that's what we'll do. So we're going here, uh, next time. <laughs> We didn't really get a lot done in that episode, uh, so next episode we will make a lot of uh, progress, I imagine, but this time, not so much. Interesting developments though, I really didn't like that fighting the bow with Batten. Uh, other than that, he's looking up, and I think we're going to use this character quite a lot, I, I don't know, I just like her personality, like the way she's been introduced. Alright then, I'll catch you guys next time for more of this, see you later, take care, do